Okay, so we're done with the tough stuff. Okay, you've got your pain, you know uh, psychophysiologically why you don't like where you're at, and you also know now, based upon the myth that you've written, how you live your life. And, you know, I keep using that word confronting, but you can put confronting through, you know, a positive lens. So it's like it's confronting necessarily so that it motivates us to change. This is one of the hardest things that we can do as human beings. It's change. Why do we get stuck? Well, we know why we get stuck now because we habitualize ourselves to the world and our own experience. We take on belief systems that are interpretive and are subjective, but we believe them to be objectively true. And, uh, and that begins to really influence our life and our, and our, and our mode of being. So now we're, we're talking about the fun stuff. So we're talking about a perfect day here. And I want to talk about motivation for a second. It's something I learned fairly recently, actually. And there were some scientists that had a look at how to motivate rats. And they looked at motivation in terms of getting, you know, how willing was the rat to move from a place to get to another place. So what they would do is they would put it in a cage and they would attach to a spring to its tail. And they would put some food at the end of the cage. And obviously the, the rat would pull the, the spring. So they said, okay, to move to a state of pleasure is X, you know, motivative as an example. Then what they did was really cool. They wafted some cat odor behind the rat and the rat pulled on that spring way, way more. So you can understand how if we can develop a framework here between pain and pleasure, the pain that you've just written, the psychological pain and the myth, the story you live by, the story of who you believe you need to be, uh, essentially speaking, if we can get that behind us, really motivate us to run towards that food at the end of the cage, aka the perfect day, you will be much more likely to do the challenging but necessary steps to become the person you want to be. So that is the, um, the scope of the, the first two modules here. When we're talking about the perfect day, it has to be very intrinsically meaningful, okay? You have to think about who you want to be, how you want to live your life from the moment you wake up to the moment you fall asleep. Everything in that day has to be deeply rewarding and fulfilling. So even just now, you know, having a think about how you'd want to wake up, who you'd want to wake up next to. Would you want to have kids, you know, banging on the door, coming in on a Sunday morning and your spouse has made you coffee and breakfast in bed? Would you want to have a dog? Do you not want to have kids or a dog? Where do you want to live? What do you want to do for a job? All of these things, really starting to believe the idea that you can live this kind of day if you put daily tasks into plan. Okay, we're, we're starting to move beyond this idea that you have to be a person based upon past experience. We know now that identity is malleable. It can be created and reframed and changed depending upon our behavior. And we want to start thinking about the behaviors that we do want to start taking on to become who we want to be. Okay, so this is the perfect day. I really hope you enjoyed writing this journal.